I am the savage half-breed son of a subjugated people, born behind enemy lines and force-fed the steeple from birth, stripped down and rebuilt through generations of assimilation, nurtured by the shattered spirit of my mother and her people, defined by my father's broken dreams and those of his mother, left with nothing but this body of meat and bone and this heart of cold fucking stone. I open the wound and let it bleed, unaware it feeds the need we both share. I look around and see a jaded, faded world to which I once thought that I belonged. And in the dark tomb of my mind, the seed has been planted. I water it. I let it grow. It grows into another me. The unaveraged me. The savage me. The ravaged me. It frees me. It uncages me. It enrages me. And never again will I let you enslave me. I feel you trying to pull me back to your mediocrity. I feel you pulling at me like the moon pulls the tide part of me that would have slid down your slippery slide has died. My eyes are open and I will never go back to being blind. Your words that once bruised me like stones are now about as useful to you as your own broken home. So spin your deceitful web somewhere else you evil bitch of a spider because I'm a new man reborn from the ashes of my former self. Hammered, forged and tempered upon the very stones intended to break me. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't make me whole again in your eyes. Those same lying eyes that are solely responsible for my so-called moral demise. I rise far above your well-sculpted reality in your picture-perfect version of history. To me, it's a mystery how an inhabited land can be discovered in the first place. But I guess if you can do that, it's okay to try to kill off an entire race and imprison the rest on your third world reservations. But of course, that was for our own cultural preservation. If I may offer my own humble observation, you should have killed us all when you had the chance. Because make no mistake, there's something in us you only wish you could break. It's that connection to the earth that beats in my chest like a drum. It's that 500-year-old voice of resistance that I have become. That voice is the echo of every mother who howled and cried to the sky as her children died in the name of your God. That voice is the voice of those children whose only sin was being born with red skin and being in the way of progress. That voice is the war cry of every warrior who tasted the soldier's steel in defense of his people. And it is that voice that will continue to inspire savage, half-breed bastards like me.